everybody how are you doing in this video we are gonna set up our managed vps on cloudways it's a super fast web hosting and if you want to have an incredibly fast secure simple hosting then cloudways for you and in this video we are not gonna deep dive into features of cloudways but we are gonna set up it in just a few minutes and after setting up our account on Cloudways, we will just do WordPress installation by just single click or this, okay, single click. And let's get started. Open your browser and make sure you use the link in the video description because there's a special discount for you. Or you can also use this discount code while purchasing your hosting from Cloudways. Go to the link on the video description. And after you've come here, there's also some information here. Why do you need Cloudways? And one very important thing I have to note right now, you have three days trial. You don't need to use any credit card. You don't need to pay even one cent for your hosting. You can just try it for free. And if you're happy with that, you just go and keep your website alive on Cloudways. If you want to check the plans, we can check the plans from here. And we have different plans and different providers like DigitalOcean, AWS and Google Cloud and there's also two different options here premium and standard and if you have a web application to test it I just recommend you to use standard one and there's a very small difference in its prices but I will go with premium and select premium and I want to go with DigitalOcean and in here I can go with monthly or hourly, no problem. If you're okay with monthly, go with monthly because you don't need to get charged every single day or I don't know how they charge for hourly. But for testing purpose, you can go with hourly because the good thing about hourly is after testing and doing whatever you want to do on your website or web application, you can just pause the server and stop being charged from cloudways and that's the good thing but with monthly you will pay the monthly price at the beginning and now i will choose the hourly and i will go with the very simple plan which has one gigabyte of ram one core processor and the space or the storage is pretty enough 25 gigabytes and the bandwidth is also one terabyte i want to go with it and Cloudways asks some very basic information about you. And I want to enter my information here. In this section, you can choose are you a digital agency, e-commerce, or other businesses. Maybe you are a blogger or freelance developer or designer. And you can choose whatever suits for you. And monthly hosting spending, you can choose the minimum one. And start for free. And here's our cloud with dashboard and when you face to this information it's just a welcome message and we can click on start now and there is DigitalOcean, AWS, Google Cloud platforms here and now we can customize our server what type of server we are gonna use for hosting our website I want to use the 1GB one because now I don't have a lot of traffic and I don't have a, a very big production website right now. I am using this for testing purpose. And if you are going to host a business website or maybe a production website, you can select the 2 gigabytes one. But I want to choose 1 gigabyte on this one and in the server location and it's completely up to you. And in any location which you want to provide services from your website, you should choose the closest one to your target audiences or target audiences location. But I want to choose New York as default on this one. But you, you can see here, this is not still active. It asks us to verify our account. We need to verify our account. Go to your registered email address. And as you can see here, I have received an email from Cloudways and I click on that and click on login and activate. Now it's time to verify our phone number. I just entered my phone number here and send SMS. I've successfully received the verification code and now I have entered the verification code here and verify. Now the account is verified. Now we have received again this welcome message. Let's click on this. And here is our application. Now I want to close this uh, pop-up message because I know what I'm doing. So here is the application and server details. 
The application is of course WordPress and we are going to use WordPress and select on WordPress which also there is a WooCommerce here they support WooCommerce as well as WordPress but in this one I'm gonna go with WordPress and in the application name I can write my application which is coding app create and here is the server name and this is also the project and here in the server section there are different providers like AWS and Google also the digital ocean i choose the digital ocean in the server size we have to customize our servers ram which i go with one gigabyte of ram in this one because i'm not going to host a business website or a production website on this account that's why i can go with the minimum one and and you also if you don't have a high traffic you can go with the minimum one because you can upgrade it anytime and i choose new york and launch now and one bonus tip here if you have some friends and they might need a website or they might need a good hosting like cloudways you can invite them and get paid by cloudways and and every time if your friends signed up to cloudways with your invitation link you can get 25 dollars for a hosting credit which you can use it to pay your hosting fees the link will be available here you can copy it and keep it with yourself and anytime if you invite any of your friends you will have a great chance to have your collaborate hosting even for free or even you can participate for their affiliate program which is great and now i want to close this window and here is my server it will take some minutes and make sure the age of your trial will be shown at the top of your dashboard and here as it says 2 days 23 hours 59 minutes which and after this time i will be required to pay as hourly or monthly to keep my websites alive in the future fantastic our server is ready to use and here is the server name and there's another note here if you need extra servers it's very easy to add many more servers to your account from here add server you can have as many servers as you need in the applications you will have your applications which you have installed on your server which this one is coding app create which is a wordpress application and this is the server i can make it stop restart delete and add another application if i need to add and in the application section this is my application if I click on this button, it will show my application. As you can see, the WordPress is successfully installed on our server. And now it's time to do some very basic setup on our WordPress application. Go back to CloudWiz. I want to close the tab. Also, I want to close other industry tabs here. Click on the application. In the access details, you will have all the information you will need to access your website or application in the application url i can copy that or i can click on this link and open the application and i can go back to the tab which is access details and this is the main url for our application and here is the admin panel if i click on this one it will take me to the admin login page click on this one here is our login page i, go, I come here and copy my username paste it here and copy my password and paste my password here if you want to remember your details here you can choose this one and login cool and this is our dashboard on wordpress and here there are some very basic setup on wordpress first of all let's go to settings and this is our site title if you have a name for your website you can have your name it's coding up great for mine and the tagline and here is my wordpress address url which is a random self-generated domain name by cloudways because i haven't pointed my domain name to cloudways if you want to point your domain name to cloudways watch this tutorial and and do the thing properly and here is my administrator email address and if you ever need to change the administrator email you can change it anytime go to rating yeah this is also important if you have a specific home page you can choose your home page from here and if you have a different page for your blog which is very specific for your blogs you can choose that from here otherwise if your website is all about blogging and you have only one page for your blog posts you can go with the default one 
never ever try to enable this option because this will entirely block you from search engines let's go to permalinks it's a very important part and make sure the post name is chosen here if it is not and choose the post name because it's very important for your website SEO and click on save chains and that was it for this tutorial if this tutorial was useful for you make sure smash the like button and this and also this so you don't miss any of our great tutorials in the future and also check out these videos if you want to learn more about wordpress or any other things related to programming so see you in the next video